Okay, so hello and welcome everybody. In this video, I'm not going to be doing a workout because I've gone over to the gym to get deadlifts in, so I can't deadlift properly with my plates at the moment. Uh, well, I can, but it's a bit sketchy, so and I can go over to the gym, so I'm going to make the most of. I'll check now, actually. I'm doing uh, one set of two and 95% of my 1RM, so it's 205 kilo. I didn't pull that yet, but I pulled 200, so I put 205 in because I think that's the strength I built like, uh, and I can. I've been using that uh, 1RM to like base me sets off, so like. So that's 194 kilo for one set of two that'll be done. That I'd say I get um because I got uh, straps last week as well, so I'll be using them and my belt. But uh, on the other hand, the good news is I got a job doing yoga, so um, I'm happy with that. Uh, and. I'm gonna be trying to build up like the experience, that's the main thing and yeah, I'm gonna be going over to the gym, so that's why uh, today like content was um oh there won't be much because yeah I have to go to the gym basically and I can't record over there so unfortunately but I only have an hour time limit there so I'm gonna Flow through the workout. I'll super set everything I have here. Right, I'll, uh, I'll back off. Set deadlifts at three percent, three reps at eighty-five percent. So that's like take ten kilo off. So about one eighty or something. And then decline bench press. Four sets of eight at RPE. I think I done like seventy-five kilo last week. That, that's where I'm about. Glue hammer is four sets of ten. I just do them with body weight there. Nordic uh, leg curls, so you can just do the eccentric part of your movement, uh, hook your ankles on any something, and they're a great exercise. Like, I only started doing them uh, within the last year or two, and I definitely built up my hamstrings like a lot. So, I would uh, credit these Nordic hamstring curls for them. So, leg extension, four sets of 12. Uh, it's unreal how, like, a leg extension is like you only know how it it hasn't been after you haven't been using it for like months but uh no i used it like last week and yeah no it was unreal so i was i think it was like 55 kilo i done for three sets of 12 or something but they weren't definitely going on a slower tempo but cable pullovers for lats dumbbell lateral raises I'll probably do that with the cable because I can and they're just, they definitely, yeah, I feel it more on my shoulders that way. Reverse pec deck, I'll also do on the cables. An easy bar skull crushers, so I might do, I could either do skull crushers or I prefer to do like, I was doing overhand sort of dumbbell choice of extensions, but I'm trying to work more on like, that short ahead of me tricep, so but I can't do uh, just normal tricep extensions because I'm doing the uh, overhead press tomorrow, so that, that will over fatigue my triceps, let's say, for trying to get like five sets of three on military press, so at 87%. Yeah, so that'll be a bit of crack. Uh, well, yeah. Um, we have a lot of broad bands here grown and I actually just harvested my beetroot. I have like 30 beetroot currently, so I'm gonna try to eat these over the next six weeks to three months I have. I'll show you now. Can't see them. This is about 30 Okay. Ah. Hold on. Okay, I was gonna get the beetroot, but uh, it's in the box and it's in the fridge as well. So, but anyway, here's this kale has gone into flour. So I don't know why, because we only planted it this summer. Usually after you leave it, like 
throughout the winter they usually go into flower but this is a, a nice big bunch of kale there's a good few grey spider mites on them though they're loving the kale and the cabbage this is red cabbage here so I'm gonna turn this into sauerkraut homemade DIY organic sauerkraut we'll throw some of the live bacterial cultures in there as well to get a uh, yeah, good marker biome up and running but as well here are the green beans no wait sorry broad beans yeah it's a big old pod they're actually really sweet i had a few already and these potatoes i think are ready to come up because they're going to be yellow they should last a while anyway i'm curious to see how much you'll actually get out of them but and this curly kale it's uh, taking very well I'm not gonna have to be getting any out Tesco now so that's a win-win uh, but it does look very healthy so looking forward to trying that in the shakes there's a little melon and cauliflower last year the melon only got to like that size because it wasn't uh, out early enough in the year but there it actually is there wait there's actually two on it three melons four melons i'm only seeing seven seven little melons and i didn't actually know that many growing up but yeah what a day yo it's a uh, absolutely roasting but yeah I'm gonna go over to the gym now for like one o'clock I have to have a meal now it's um 12 this is only my second meal which I don't like when I when it happens that way because I'd rather eat two meals in the day instead of having like before toward meal at like four or five o'clock instead of three o'clock but just because like Sometimes eating is like a chore, do you get me? So it's just easier to like have all your food at once for the day and say if you're like, like I went on a cycle with book around the park this morning so I didn't go on a jog uh, because I had this class this morning so I didn't want to like, I wouldn't have had enough time but booked on a 15k while I cycled around the park and yeah we done that actually fast enough so Buck's gotten his exercise in for the day. He's fairly uh, KO'd after getting back from that. He has his steps in for the day anyway, but. Yeah, so I'm gonna go over to the gym now and I'm gonna smash deadlifts. 194 sounds heavy, like for two reps, but I think I've done 200 for two reps, so. Maybe I should be putting 210 in as we estimated 1RM for deadlifts because but I'll, I'll try it out over there and see what happens um, because I have my belt and the straps and when you have them like assisted deadlifts are a hell of a lot easier than raw I don't actually do raw deadlifts <clears throat> um, my grip strength is like can only get up to 170 kilo then I think I could hook grip 180 and maybe a bit over that, but not like I just don't have the forearm strength there yet at the moment. But I'd say I'll see a lot of gains from going at it raw instead of uh, like I'm gonna try to use my belt less and less and straps as well, so we can you will get plenty of gains from like using hook grip and not using your belt as much because I think I need to build up my core. Uh, still another bit as well as like my glutes area because they're uh, on that function compared to like my quads and lower back because uh, I still have a slight anterior pelvic tilt but it's gradually going back uh, in the place I was actually doing yoga there yesterday and I like I don't know I was doing a forearm stretch and I sort of like got my fingers back far enough that like I opened up apparently forearm basically and uh, 
felt really good so it's mad how it feels after you, like that happens as well because a few weeks ago i done something similar with my shoulder i was doing like a stiff legged hamstring stretch and i was like doing a forward fold so i uh, basically like i flexed my left bicep when i was in a at 90 degrees and i sort of clicked my shoulder back into place a little bit i know it sounds a bit uh, Bit mad but I think it's because I never really squeeze like my short head of the bicep like my left side that's my weaker side so obviously that's a uh, like weakness there that I have to fix but yeah um I'm gonna go in now and eat me food I'm just gonna have some pistachios of a bagel here and I've three uh, burgers my mom made from Dr. Gregor's How Not to Die cookbook they're sweet potato black bean burgers. Um yeah, they're nice so I'll throw a bit of I'll throw that on the bagel with a bit of a uh, sauerkraut and I don't have sriracha sauce anymore but that would have been a good show but yeah I think um I was gonna probably not even make a video today and record one tomorrow instead the way like uh, today turned out but I think, um, yeah, I'll try it. Uh, I think I need to go to a different gym basically because an hour is not long enough. But it is for the moment, for the next two months, because there's only two months left when I should have seven months left on my membership. But there's only two months left, apparently. And my other membership was taken out of another gym. So, eh. Uh, that's why I'd rather just get my own equipment for the for the shed because all you need is a leg press, basically. And but not really because if you have a barbell and plates, I think you could get by for a while, like doing prioritizing certain exercises. Because I don't think I need to be like uh, a quad dominant lifter. I want to become more of a posterior chain uh, sort of like dominant lifter if you get me so that would reverse uh, my anterior pelvic tilt but yeah um it's a good day i was out at like six this morning we got back about seven eight me and book and i went down and done a, a nice hour long yoga class with a few of uh people i i knew like i done work experience with them a, a few years back so it was a bit crack and it was a comfortable environment I mean, happy with how it went like and yeah I'm looking forward to doing more of it I'm sure I'll be there for um I'll get the experience I need hopefully and yeah it's looking like life is a uh, I don't know like I'm I was obviously planning on getting a job doing yoga when I initially thought about doing the course a year ago so now that I have one that's um, it's a relief you know like uh, hard work is paying off but yeah I'm gonna go over to the gym now and mill this meal because I'm starving so I hope you enjoyed and you know that's just the current that's how things are going at the moment but uh, yeah life is good food is grown what more could you want uh, but anyway yeah I hope you are all doing well and you are out there smashing your goals so um, building that lean muscle that functional tissue you know whatever you're into but uh, yeah much love everybody thanks for watching and yeah I appreciate each and every single one of you I'll see you in the next one and yeah, thanks for watching. Much love, everybody. Peace. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.